Hello Dream Flames, welcome to my channel, whether you're new or you're coming back. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, as you can see, I'm still on my trip, on my journey. I was supposed to be home by now, but unfortunately my flight uh, was delayed or postponed, whichever you want to say. So I'm not home yet, but I decided to, do, uh, to still continue doing the readings. Uh, I should be home tonight, uh, New York time, uh, but at this point it's kind of hard to predict when that's going to happen and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have the energy for the reading after a long journey. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing and then tomorrow, fingers crossed, I'm going to be back in New York area with all the cards at my disposal, with my favorite backdrops and uh, coming to you from home. Without further ado, let's jump into the reading. So let's get an oracle card for Divine Feminine. So we've got something old ready. Blessed. Oh, I love this. Beautiful card. So probably a little bit too far from the camera. Maybe let me move this a little bit like that. Yeah, this is better. Yeah, so blessed. The card that is supposed to remind you how blessed you are to live the life that you have, how abundant this life on earth is that you're living. And of course that uh, your guides, your higher power are there for you, available to help out, to support you in any way, shape or form that you need and want. The important part is to continue the dialogue. I was actually talking about that um, in my latest episode of Mindful Awake yesterday, I talked about appreciation. Of course, I speak about three different layers or levels of appreciation. Appreciation to self, appreciation to other people, and appreciation to the universe, to the higher power, to the divine. So, might be something worth checking out. I'll try to remember to link the episode. Oh, of course, as always, you can search for Mindful Awake. You can search Mindful Awake Appreciation. Uh, and you'll find it on YouTube, on Facebook, on LinkedIn. I'm sure you can Google it and you'll find it as well. <laughs> For masculines, we have the Fates 17. Yeah, it's actually somewhat similar, but this is more like the, the universe, the Fates. The Fate is, is working in your favor. Whatever is happening in your life right now, uh, especially if you're questioning what it means, know that this is necessary to help you get aligned or to help you move forward with the aligned path that will be to your highest good, to your highest benefit. This is card number 17, by the way. Okay, now let's get to tarot. I'll sit a little bit back to do my spread. Okay, bottom of the deck we have three of coins. In this three of coins, the guy is actually working together. I usually see this as a kind of like somebody who is trying to do the work of a team. You know, oops, okay, okay. Uh, like taking on too much possibly or not seeing how the work could be delegated or, well, essentially just working yourself, burning yourself out through that whatever it is you're doing. So it's not like you are not able to complete the job you are, but is that the best decision for everyone involved, including you? Uh, you are saying it may not be. So something to think about. And then we have two of pentacles here. Very interesting, right? Three and now two, which is about finding the right balance, right? You don't need to juggle uh, five objects at the same time, right? And wear yourself off in like an hour. Uh, right? If you are juggling two or three and then the other person does two or three, then you're gonna last like not even two hours, but like five. You know, that's the principle that I'm getting here. That the win you're gonna get by involving other people, by delegating something, or at least postponing so that you're moving through those activities more gradually, will help you tenfold. Okay, feminines, your energy. Ten of Swords, clarified by Page of Wands in reverse. <sighs> yeah, there is, this is the, to me, this is a letting go of the pain of not feeling 
good enough, smart enough, potent enough for a job, for whatever it is. It can be, of course, your personal goals. It can be something in the professional area. It can be just general, like the way you feel other people are seeing you, treating you, right? There is a chance right now, especially through the blessed energy, to remove that pain, to remove that um, kind of mindset, right? Prayer and meditation would be your best friends here, for sure. Maybe body-oriented techniques as well. For, there we go, from Mask and Sarah Sink now. We have Page of Wands, and it's clarified by Three of Wands. So we had Page of Wands just there for the feminines. It was in reverse, though. Now we're seeing it upright for the masculines. And more 1D energy was three of one. So masculines actually also want to change things around from where they are right now. From the way they feel in terms of are they good enough? Are they mature enough? Are they can they offer enough? Right? They're setting intention to grow from page to essentially knight and king. And this is a very much masculine energy, right? So in the things that are masculine, including taking care of others, like standing strong with your feet, uh, being affirmative and assertive with what you do, having courage. Those are all one kind of fire kind of energy, right? So masculines are looking into the ways that they're excited about the potential, but I'm getting there also some fear on how do I figure out how to get there, right? It's not clear, like they can see where they are right now, so like point zero, and they can see point 100, right? Some of them are getting to see in dreams even, or they get visions of where they're headed and what potential they have, which is exciting and it's given motivation, all of these things uh, to aim for more, to do more with their lives. But it's not clear at this point, how do I get from the zero to that 100? And that's what gets them a little bit in their head in that page energy at the moment. Again, remember that the destiny is working in your favor. So as long as you're saying yes to what the universe brings to you and you are dealing with it gracefully in a healthy way, it will take you where you're supposed to go. That's how beautiful the universe is and your guides and your high power. Additional question, Knight of Cups clarified by Ace of Swords. Ooh, how can we express ourselves, ourselves, our feelings, our needs more openly, more truthfully at this time. For feminines, wow, Knight of Wands, clarified by the Magician. Claim what's yours, that's what I'm getting for you, feminines. Um, don't try to downplay. Don't try, you know, I know we're talking about feminine energy, so take gender how it resonates. But I'm immediately, since I'm a woman and a feminine, I'm thinking about women, girls, you know, sometimes we don't play what we can do or even uh, keep our thoughts and ideas to ourselves because we are playing a girl. We don't want to kind of overstep in terms of making the masculines around us feel less of the masculine, right? So don't do that now. Now it's the opposite. Like, claim it, you're that... Uh, warrior, that knight, that, uh, you know, your passion and the way that you think and express yourself is something that the universe very much needs right now. So you're supposed to step into that more of a magician power of like, I'm creating this life. And yes, if other people are involved, well, that's the way it is. Sorry if you're hearing the noise, guys, because the doors are pretty soundproof in this hotel. So life and then um the masculines have nine of swords and four of pentacles so for masculines is still a problem to express themselves openly and truthfully right they again i'm getting the downplay energy so there is a sink there but they they still at the point where they keep a lot of things to themselves they battle inner conflict and anxiety but they I tried to put a good face on it. So they either, I'm going to say anything at all. So it'd be like very neutral, very much like, oh, I'm fine. I'm doing fine. Or they will intentionally keep things to themselves because 
again, of the brain working its way, you know, the swords here, brain working its, its way to sabotage the situation and thinking like, oh no, you know, I can't be weak and vulnerable with this person. And if I give them, if I give away what's really going on with me, then they'll have the power, right? They'll be able to manipulate me, to take advantage of me. So I'd rather not disclose everything. Just give them a little bit and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah, and that essentially blocks the self-expression. And yeah, it's definitely a story for a separate video. Or if anybody's interested in this topic, contact me separately. We can do a... Uh, a coaching session we can do a personal reading but basically like you feel like this doesn't impact you personally because this is the way you interact with other people externally right so it may seem like uh, a kind of a deceitful way <laughs> it may seem like for yourself it doesn't change anything right but it does that's the you're changing the frequency and the vibration in terms of how authentic are you with the world I'm not saying that you're supposed to blurt out all your emotions onto other people, but like keeping everything to yourself, especially with people who you want to be close with, you want to have good relationships, with, is not the answer. It's one of the worst things you can do. <sighs> How the feminine seeing the connection at this time? We have the death clarified by Nine of Cups. Yeah, and it's very interesting, Nine of Cups. It's a kind of a melancholic one, right? There's a lot of contemplation here. So it's almost like there's some sadness that things are changing and they aren't going to be as they used to be anymore, right? Like some melancholy for the old, good old days when life was simpler. And I'm getting to this for a lot of feminists. It's not about this particular connection. It's about relationships with masculines in general. Like, yeah. It was so much easier before because I didn't think about all these different aspects of relationship or I didn't pay attention to this or I didn't have as many of like um, non-negotiables as I have now, right? It was easier. We were attracted to each other, we just went for it and now it's, not gonna, it's never gonna be like that anymore, right? But of course this transformation, it's again, our brain is telling us that something is wrong but on the other side, we are going to be the happier, healthier versions of ourselves. How the, the masculine is seeing the connection? Four of Wands, clarified by Two of Swords. And again, we have this overthinking. So the masculines want to have it all. They want to be at the point, again, remember I spoke about the, where they are at point, one, at point zero right now, and they can see themselves at point 100, what it would look like. This is part of that story. So they can see this future with the feminine in that level 100. But again, there is a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of fear that it's A, it's only a fantasy or B, it's just going to be too much work to get there. And I don't know whether I can handle it. It's not even whether it's worth it. Very interesting. It's more like, I don't know whether I can, I have enough patience, courage and stamina to get through that because it's level 100. It's not five, it's not seven, it's 100. There's a lot of work ahead. So that's the dilemma. Okay, I hope this was good for you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe to my channel and to share it with others who may benefit from this kind of information. I will link uh, the episode of Mindfully Awake and please don't forget to tune in every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for a new episode, for new insights, new ideas, new food for thought for your spiritual journey. I love you all and until next time.